All right, welcome to Testimony Thursday. Yep, so um, if you have been missing study time, um, I've been back. Um, many of you know that um, I took time off for a little over a month. So, um, yep, I'm back. So I pray that we can get into this thing. So for Testimony Thursday, I got a good story today um, that I'm going to tell you. Um, I don't know about you all, but for me, I learned a lot of my lessons and especially how God feels about me through my kids. Like as a father, when I'm talking and dealing with my children, I also learn a lot about how God feels about me. So a lot of my lessons on how I can trust and depend on God actually comes from me dealing with my children so um on a lot of instances but one in particular i remember my children they would just i mean mess up the house they would maybe not even listen at what i was saying or you know just being hard-headed or something like that and then they would come to me and say hey daddy can i get this can i get that and, you know, as a parent, you know, of course, we would normally just say no or you say, you know, you've been hard here today. We, you ain't going to get that. Rightfully so. But then they come and say, Daddy, please, please, I won't do it no more. And it just melts your heart and you just sit there like, yeah, you can have it. I mean, they just suck you out of it. Like, yeah, you can have it. Go on and get it. But make sure you don't do it again. Okay. Ten minutes later, they doing it again. But it's funny because um, when I think about that instance, I also turn it around to my personal relationship with Jesus Christ. How many times have we done that towards God and God has granted us grace? He's granted us mercy. He's granted us favor. And, you know, we've said, man, we won't do that again, God. We sorry. And we really could have been sorry. I mean, we really could have been sorry for real. But we turned around and did it again. So today, I want to leave you with two things just from me telling you that story. I want to leave you with just how good God really is to us. And then secondly, I want to leave you with do you really believe in Jesus Christ because one thing about it um as a parent when our ch children say they won't do it again we believe them I mean we hope to believe that they won't do it again for their own good so as a child to Jesus Christ or God do we really believe like when we say that hey we're not going to do that again do we really love God enough to not do well to do our best to not do whatever we don't need to do so like for instance if we got a cussing problem I'm just gonna use cussing for instance and we you know say god we're sorry we're not gonna cuss are we really trying not to cuss not like not in our own strength but by the power and the strength of jesus christ and the holy spirit are we really trying not to do that and it's for our own good at the end of the day but do we love God enough to say that enough is enough? You hear me? So I want you to take those two things and apply it to your life today. And I will see you soon. Bye. Welcome to the prayer for forgiveness, renewal, and repentance. This is simply a video I've put together where I like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as we seek our Heavenly Father together. Please continue to meditate on this prayer for yourself. Speak it daily or listen to this video over and over again. And allow the Word of God concerning forgiveness, renewal, and repentance of sins to reach deep into your spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together here online and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus. Where two or more are gathered, there you shall surely be. And anything we agree upon as touching you will surely do. The Bible says that if there's any unforgiveness, that it should be dealt with before praying. Therefore, we release any anger, bad feelings, resentment, or any other wrong attitude before you now. We lay it at your feet and we release and forgive those who have wronged us. 
I lift up those watching this video and we come into agreement and lift up forgiveness, renewal, and repentance. Father, your word says that if we ask for mercy and for forgiveness, you will forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Purely on the basis of the promises of forgiveness in your word, with all feeling aside, we believe that the listener is forgiven. Humbly they come before your throne to receive this grace and mercy. Help the listener to forgive themselves and let the past go. We declare in agreement that Jesus is Lord over the listener, and if they believe in their heart that you raised him from the dead, they will be saved with heaven being their eternal home. We receive it and we praise you, Father. Help the listener's unbelief. Their slate is wiped clean right now. In the face of any feeling of guilt and unworthiness, the listener receives their forgiveness from you. The guilt is for leaving and the sin is removed because of your love for them. You have forgiven their sins completely. They are blessed. God in heaven, you have forgiven them because of what Jesus has done. It is not about what they do or don't do. It is by grace through faith that they have forgiveness. They cannot earn it, but you have freely given forgiveness to them because they asked. Praise the Lord. Renew them right now by your spirit in Jesus' name. We speak refreshing over their mind, will, emotions, and body right now in Jesus' name. You, Father, are holding nothing against them. You, Father, are not holding anything back from them. You chose the listener in Christ before the foundation of the world that they should be holy and blameless in your sight. Thanks be to you. In Jesus, they have redemption deliverance and salvation through his blood, the remission, forgiveness of their offenses, shortcomings and trespasses in accordance with the riches and the generosity of your gracious favor. Father, the listener has received your son, Jesus. They believe in his name. Through Jesus, you have given them the right to become your child. Thank you for forgiving them entirely and absolving them from all guilt. They are more than conquerors through the blood of Jesus. They are set free from the past in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Welcome to the Prayer for Salvation. This is simply a video I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as we seek our Father God. Choosing to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior is the most important decision you will ever make. Remember, it's not about how you feel after you pray. When the Bible says it, that settles it, and God promises to save you when you ask. God's word promises, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. By His grace, God has already done everything to provide salvation for you, regardless of your past. Your part is to simply believe and receive. So the very moment you commit your life to Jesus Christ, the truth of His Word instantly comes to pass in your spirit, and when you are born again, there is a brand new you. Pray out loud after me. Jesus, I confess that you are my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that God raised Him from the dead. By faith in your word, I receive salvation now. Thank you for saving me. I am now reborn. I am a Christian, a child of Almighty God. I am saved. Thank you, Jesus.